So you, you're unique for most of our Hay House authors because you're a teacher and you work with young kids. First graders. First graders. <laughs> and you say that, you know, getting kids started or getting people started early is so important because who you are as a child helps develop who you are as a adult. And so can you tell us a little bit about what you've learned working with the kids? And, yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, first of all, I work in a public school. And when I tell people what I do in my classroom, they always say to me, how do you get away with that? And I've always said when people say, well, how do you get away with that? What do you mean? What are you talking about? I, I need to teach my kids to quiet their minds so they can be their best. And in today's society, we are struggling so terribly in American education because we have all of these rules and testing and data collection, and we're not looking at the whole child. So now our children are feeling the stress that the adults feel, and they need to learn how to quiet their minds because they're not allowed to be kids anymore. Then what do you teach them in your class? Oh, <laughs> if you ever walked into my classroom, <laughs> So first of all, when you walk into my classroom, um, there's always low lighting. I don't like fluorescent lights. It doesn't do anything for their energy that's good. So we have low lighting and we have um, aromatherapy all the time and soft music. And I teach the regular curriculum just like everybody else. But what's most important to me is to touch their heart before I teach their mind. I want them to learn how to believe in themselves and how to speak their truth because that's what's most important to me. If those kids believe in themselves and if they speak their truth, then they're going to be their best. And that's why I talk about igniting the light because we all have this beautiful light inside of us. And when we feel good, we feel energized and we feel alive. And when we feel dim, we don't feel that. You know, we feel self-conscious and we worry about things and we might feel a little depressed. And I was seeing that in kids at a young age and I said, whoa, there, there's too much of this pressure being put on little kids. So we teach yoga, meditation, affirmations, mirror work. I do everything that Hay House teaches in my classroom. Right. Louise would be so proud. <laughs> right. In addition to the math and reading or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's just the other stuff. Right. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and how long have you been teaching for? Um, hmm. I have been teaching a little over 15 years now and my practices in the classroom, the, the yoga, the meditation and all of that really came about about 10 years ago and it was because I started shifting in my life. I started to feel that I needed to find myself. I was um, raised Catholic and so I was taught that God was outside of me and so I was always searching for approval outside of myself and that never resonated well with me but I knew there had to be something else, so I, I started to search. And I went to many different churches, and what I learned was that God was not outside of me, God was inside of me. And so once I learned that I had this light inside of me, I started to develop skills. So meditation, yoga, journaling, um, looking in the mirror and saying positive things. That's such a hard concept for people to understand. You know, I teach adults and children, and even the kids have a hard time with that in the beginning of the year. I know like people think that kids are so confident, but when I sit them in a circle and I say, we're gonna look in a mirror, and we're going to say a positive compliment to ourselves, some of them really, they shrink back. Um, so when I started to soul search, I started to realize, wow, if I need this now, why don't I give it to my kids now? So they have these tools while they're young, and I'm building a strong foundation. And then when they're in their 30s, they don't have to search outside of themselves. Exactly. So really, it was, it was me. I was changing spiritually and finding God within. And I said, I need to do this in my classroom, whether it's acceptable in public education or not. 